Hello everyone, it is I Reversal, welcome back to some more Knights of Dragons. It's been a while, it feels really great to say that once again, it's really great to be back. Today I'm gonna update you guys about what I've been doing in my real life, I suppose a little bit, because I already brought out a video about what I've been doing and all the good stuff, and why I haven't been recording, but to, you know, give you guys an update, because some of you guys actually only watch when there's a Knights and Dragons episode. I'm just gonna be telling you guys that I've seriously been busy and, um, well not busy, I've just been taking a break I suppose from Knights and Dragons in general. Now the two things that you guys probably notice right now is that A, the background music is on and that's just a test to see if it actually works because the, the, uh, the recording software I got an update in which like inbuilt music from for example Knights and Dragons is like noticeable right now so I'm just testing to see if it actually works if it works then I'm gonna be using it in future videos for other games but not for Knights and Dragons so this is just a one time only where you're hearing the background sound of Knights and Dragons the second thing that you guys been gonna be noticing is that I have this little dot hovering over the screen well that's my finger playing around with the screen right now and if I do all of my fingers up there you guys will be capable of seeing it as well um, I figured that would be a nice thing to implement in my videos as well, so that way if I'm actually pointing at things or talking about like for example my training field over here, you guys will be knowing what I'm talking about. So that would be a nice thing to, talk, uh, to show you guys off as well. If you guys actually liked it or if you guys think it's annoying, let me know down in the comment section below. So. What I've been doing is literally like taking a break from YouTube, but seriously, like, you gotta take into consideration that I've been doing YouTube and Knights and Dragons for almost half a year now, and I've been doing it day in, day out, and uh, it started to wear on me, like, unconsciously, it started to wear on me. I started to notice that my recordings were a little, little bit bad and under the weather, and I suppose I got a little bit annoyed with that, I didn't want to bring you guys out, like, horrible content anymore, so... From now on, I'm back to, you know, uploading videos for you guys. And it's gonna be really great. I'm really, really looking forward to that. And, uh, yeah, it's just something that I really missed, like, a lot. So, just gonna defeat the Epic Boss right now. Epic Boss looks great, by the way. This Epic Boss, this Unicorn, I like the little fire over here. And, like, over here. It's really great. The little detail with the crystals and other good stuff. I think it really... Uh, I think it really makes it a pretty evil unicorn, I suppose. Uh, I suppose that's, like, the way they wanted to go to. It's not the kind of unicorn that I expected. I heard the unicorn was out yesterday. I was like, oh, it's cool, unicorn. But it looked like a really evil type of unicorn. So I was like, hmm, that's okay. You can, by the way, press the back button if you want to collect everything real fast. And that's actually quite a nice feature. Someone informed me about that. I'm not entirely sure when. But it was like a week ago when someone told me, like, like, did you know that you can press the uh, back button in order to collect all of your rewards immediately? We're just actually going to test it out on this stage as well. So we're going to fast forward this. I'm going to uh, get up the screen here. Hopefully it will stay. No. Okay, it will stay. And you can really farm very fast with it. Just press the back button and it actually works out. Really great feature. So, um, what have we been doing in game? Well, uh, I'm sorry. But my Arbor Steel Vanguard right now is maxed out. I have been trying to record that. That recording crashed. And uh, I'm terribly sorry for that, by the way. But it's maxed out. I'm very happy with that. I'm very satisfied. Arbor Steel Vanguard is now level 99. It's, really, it's, it's a really big beast. Uh, as for the Northerners Battle Gear, level 41. I need to make an episode on that as well. And I've been defeating the Epic Boss. The last one's Milladon, I believe that's called. I've been defeating it up to level uh, 15. So I actually did manage to get the armor. I didn't get the plus version because I took my break, obviously. I don't even know which level I was on. Like, I think I was like a level... 21 or something when I took my break. So here we go, Fasture of Smilodon. Uh, I believe it's a really nice armor. I'm not sure about it at all because I haven't been uh, like taking a look at it. So uh, we are gonna get this up to level 35 as soon as we can, so that way you can get the, like the last versions and the Lilith's armor. I need to do that as one as well. So I need to get back to farming again, but that's gonna be okay. We have a bunch of armor, so the Fusion Frenzy is gonna be coming up very soon. I have a very nice surprise for you guys as well well so make sure you guys stay tuned on my channel as well and um yeah what I, what else have i been doing like literally nothing on knights and dragons i have been offline from the game for a good amount of time like a week or so so we're just gonna do one battle here and see how well we're doing with this maxed out arbus to vanguard we're gonna fight against uh we're gonna fight against s a v s pinky and the guild named vice savages of course 
and hopefully we can do some significant damage here. So here you go. Okay. So this is a very difficult lineup for me. Over here we have the Spectre Shroud, Dragonborn Aegis, Hellfire Plate. I think this Hellfire Plate was actually the plus version out of that event. Um, we're in the advantage with the Bladesborn Vanguard against the, uh, against the Spectre Shroud. And then we are in the advantage but also in the disadvantage against the, uh, the Dragonborn Aegis. Then after that we have the advantage once again from Pestilence against the Hellfire Plate Mill. But I'm not sure because these three are all epics if we're going to survive or not. So we're going to find out right now. And hopefully we can do some damage here. So we actually take down his Spectre Shroud quite nicely. Here we go. Uh, I didn't need to do that special attack. It's kind of unnecessary and it seems we're going to be taking this one down, I hope, with the special attack. Yes. Very nice battle. Luckily for us, we did enough damage to take it down. And it seems that my lineup is still quite strong, so I'm very happy with that win. Uh, I didn't do anything in this arena at all. Like, I have 421 points and that's really horrible. I'm probably not going to do anything with the arena this week. Next week I'm going to be focusing a little bit on the arena again. At least getting up to like 16,000. So that way we can actually get the this milestone reward of this uh, of 10, 10 gems. It's always going to be helpful. I might get, uh, go a little bit further up to 27,000. But I'm not sure about it at all. Because those 2 stars are really going to help up for those level 35 episodes on those uh, legendary armor. As for the unicorn analyzation episode. will be coming out shortly around the corner as well. It's level 14 right now um i'm not sure if it's gonna be on level 15 or some other milestone level 21 or 28 might be more sufficient i need to kind of work out i'm gonna do other kinds of stuff as well because i do have a lot of videos planned for you guys i'm just not sure when they're gonna be coming out because the world cup is gonna come out today as well it's gonna be the netherlands against australia my prediction is it's gonna be eight against zero and that sounds really exaggerating but after the match against spain i'm seriously that we can pull this one off because you know i like to go extreme and I'm such a huge fan of the World Cup. As, as you know, my voice is recovering a little bit again. Uh, if the Netherlands is going to be scoring today again, my voice is going to be worse again. But that's going to be okay. That's not going to make me like not release episodes for you guys. So that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you are really curious to know what I've been doing over the past couple of weeks, uh, make sure to check out my previous video in which I'm explaining why I was uh, why I was gone and all that good stuff. So that being said, I want to thank you guys again so much for watching. And as always, make sure that if you guys like this video, to boom, give it a thumbs up. This was our reversal for Knights and Dragons. I will be signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one.